Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Championship Tian and Jack Sparrow. The map will be Strange Shores, and it's going to be a 3 versus 3 battle, and as you guys can see, it's kind of a, I don't know, <laughs> there's a lot of twists, but let's go jump straight into it. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to not miss a content from my channel. Here we go. I'm going to be the yellow player. And then, of course, my partners will be Night Soul and, uh, I, don't, I forgot his name. Yes, no, whatever. He's the green player. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this off with the supply centers going HQ level 2 and so on. We're going to have to fast forward a bit. Gather their containers. He got that. Okay, so, at the first start of the battle, this is not cool. That is so not cool. My partner, a uh, green player, already a, a gun tower already being built. And uh, I also forgot Kaimans, and I only got like a handful of containers in the ocean. And immediately a gun tower being put up here, level 3 HQ, in a power plant. Meanwhile, my partner... Wasp uh, being asked to help the green player and uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Okay, so gun tower is now finished. Other uh, shipyard, blue player's delta is being here, uh, you know, trying to travel over here and, and of course intercept and destroy that shipyard that's being upgraded and another shipyard being built on top of that and oh goodness man. This is swarming with... No, one wasp is being... That... This wasp is kind of pitiful since it's being ignored. Okay, some deltas gave it some attention while the passive is activated. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, another gun tower being built here by Yes, No. <laughs> Yes, exactly, Night Soul. You're definitely right on that. Alligator being produced. Naval platform at the oddest positions. Going HQ level 3. Meanwhile, here on my end, I'm just chilling here with some hidden infantry on top of that cliff. And I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen at this point. I mean, basically, we're toasted. But let's see. Alright, so power plant. Another acid strike or acid burst. Wow, I kind of envy what class is that wasp. I think 9. Man, the, the acid is better. Oh, crying in class 7 wasp. Okay. So, again, those deltas are definitely doing their thing. So, we're going to have to fast forward a bit here. One alligator ain't going to do much against that many deltas. And, oh, purple player. So, it's a three player delta rush kind of thing. And it's not looking good. Alligatora is not going to do much. Okay, gun tower doing its job here. Without a construction yard, that gun tower ain't going to finish. Okay, alligators now. Along with a wasp acid and a viking. And, oh no, this is not looking good. Viking is out for the count. However, some deltas are doing damage at the back of the base. Or at the side of the base of uh, my partner. At this point in time, I don't really know what to do. I mean, I can produce alligators, but I mean, what good would that do? Okay, construction yard managed to finish. Rebuilding here as my partner. Another construction yard. And, ah, uh, dude. Those deltas are so painful to see. Just, oh, no. <laughs> okay, Seraphim now <laughs> going in. Ah, oh, dude. That is so not cool. Okay, and now Night Soul is going to be in World of Shambles. Along with the Green Player 2. Gun Tower at Research Facility. And then, of course, that Seraphine will lay waste on that shipyard. Reducing the productivity of those alligators for a minute. And, oh no. That's just not going to cut it. He has nothing here, and the green player, yes, no. After playing, uh, I don't know, after getting Viking rushed, he is going to go leave the battle. 
But he's not gonna leave. Uh, he actually left with a wasp right there. Okay, more platforms being built here as Night Soul going HQ level 4. Absolutely, there's like two Seraphims now from both the green and the CN player. Oh no. I mean, that wasp is still alive for I don't know why, how in the world is that wasp alive? Oh goodness, it's not looking good for Night Soul here. Those gun tires are not gonna last anymore with those Vikings and Aligatora. Now the wasp from yes or no, even though he left, absolutely no skill there. I mean, the fast, the active skill will be passive at this point because it's not gonna be used. All right, one naval platform manages to finish. However, I mean, it's not gonna do anything. So at this point, I'm just chilling here, going for a Leviathan, some rifleman against <laughs> Seraphim, and uh, now I'm just producing my alligators. I can't really do much at this point, and it's a really hopeless situation. Okay, so fast forward a bit. Three triple Seraphim harass. Coyote versus Seraphim with, along with some riflemen. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's so right. Okay, now. Oh, and I see the purple player looming in over at my base. Along with that Seraphim once again. Let's see. Salvos aren't hitting. And it got away. Okay, back to three Seraphim harass here. Two of the Seraphims are badly bruised up. And, oh no, oh no, wow, double Seraphim skill at that HQ is just overkill. Alright, here goes my Leviathan, the Giga Chad. Giga Chad of the day. Okay, so we fast forward again. Okay, one Seraphim down with the side cannons. And we see here that this guy with a bunch of Deltas along with some Vikings trying to... Go over this ashore, and me on the other hand, my Leviathan is right over here, and the Seraphim just passed by, ignoring my Leviathan completely. Rifleman in production against those Deltas that are trying to pass the shore without ado, well, without success. And now that Seraphim is now going after my research facility. Meanwhile, my Leviathan is raining rampage here and uh, trying to trash a Viking. And, uh, yeah. That's just how this goes. Not really looking good. Okay, Seraphim skill now on my research facility. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, very satisfying to watch. All right, so with three vehicle factories this night, so my green player, I mean, the, the green player is uh, just no more. He already left. So, here we go. I'm actually trying to recover the HP of all my units that's been damaged by the Delta and the Viking, as well as the Leviathan that's been damaged by those Seraphims. All right now. Now, at this point in time, I'm just going to go with a final blaze of glory in terms of trying to get rid of this, at least the purple player. Man, it's not looking good. I had my rifleman positioned right there as a scout. To see if any Delta shenanigans are there. And again, we see here a badly bruised up Seraphim. It's going to go down. One final blaze to get that glory. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. One final blaze. See young player here. Trying to help out his partner who's spamming Deltas. Shipyard is down. One naval platform ain't going to cut it. Two Vikings from the purple. I'm being flanked, so I'm going to have to move away. Out of that, uh, out of those Vikings, and non-stop Alligator production here on my end. Shipyard is down once again. All right, so I'm going to have to retreat for a moment here and face those things that are trying to flank me, since they're going to reduce me alligator count anyway. Meanwhile, this shipyard being built, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give him a chance, and I'll specifically order some of my alligators at the back to attack the purple's base. While cleaning up the Cyan player's army. And I see again a Serafima right here trying to sabotage my production line and to get rid of my shipyard, as we can see right here. I'm going to have to cancel that Alligatora 
there you go cancellation complete and uh, anti-ear trying to land here and then of course i'll order my rifleman to go over here and my alligatora will try and help out clean out that seraphima going back here another seraphim just popped out of that i'm trying to focus on the hq not giving this purple player a chance to escape or build away from the shore as he doesn't have any place to place that construction yard to build away from the shore there you go seraphim is out for the count and hq will go down this purple player is no more okay now and i had some of my alligators go back to my base as of course in a, you know in, in an attempt to defend my base now <laughs> night soul being imba and uh, this guy right here i don't know what he's doing i think he got disconnected the blue player and so of course we're going to have to fast forward a bit as i tried to clean up everything here in a 1v3 with the final blaze of glory night soul tried to build that shipyard and oh no yes so generous leaving that vehicle factory behind it is so generous indeed and so the blue player is still right here and along with some of the alligators that i have blue players vikings are over here resource container i don't know what's going on dude i'm attacking this player which just got erased this guy right here and I have to try and get rid of that X facility. And then now to confront the CN players Vikings. Along with the blue players Vikings here. And the Poseidon from the CN player. Erasing the base of the blue player at the same time. as well. So I'm actually fighting two fronts at the same time. So fighting this right here. And along with the Leviathan. With some alligators to safeguard it against the Vertex. Was trying to have to snipe it. So yes. Here goes. Tracy with a final burn of glory. Come on, man. Show them what you got. Okay, now again, non-stop unit production here. Now, I'm going to have to try and opt out for aviation in the hopes of attacking a space system if ever there will be. And uh, also, if ever I can go ahead and snipe some Vikings given the lack of Poseidons in some locations that the Poseidon can't cover so yes the blue players Vikings are almost obliterated now the CM players uh, Vikings are here but this is proving to be too much for me to handle alone as majority of my forces had dwindled out however I still have my alligators here and the Leviathan who managed to clean up the blue players base as well as the purple players base and I left some alligators there to get their base checked here we go. I'm now going to have to flank with the leftover alligatoras that I got to clean up those Viking ads. Yeah, man. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Oh, right now, it's not really looking good for this guy who's being flanked by newly produced uh, alligatoras and a nuclear kablooey. Serapima right here. It's not really gonna do much since I have Alligatoras to help back out my Leviathan. There goes that naval engagement. I finally managed to clean them up with my newly produced units. Meanwhile, again to Avia Factory, slowly transitioning, uh, slowly adding up the resources as of course three naval production is very, very costly. And so, fast forward a bit. Let's have a look at Night Soul's base. Night Soul actually managed to get a ninja base right here, away from the shore, outside the range of those Vikings. Night Soul Limba. Night Soul Ninja. Okay, now. And see, we now removed the fog of war. Let's see what's going on here. This guy has HQ5. What the? Okay. And two, construction yard with some anti-air. And this tells me everything that I need to know um, when I will go ahead and scout him. So yes, an uh, airfield and a power plant being built here. I'm just trying to position right here to somewhat, um, you know, clog this guy out. However, due to the uh, distance that my newly produced alligators are going to travel, it will take me a very long time to somewhat get into position 
and I don't really have a ton of alligators at this point. And I'll go ahead and try and get that container as well to, to of course, to cement my advantage. Man, this is crazy. Okay, two hawks now being produced along with that airfield finishing. Another airfield, so I'm trying to somewhat, you know, um, space out my base if you noticed. So one space strike ain't gonna destroy much, and I specifically had my AB factory right here, so that if the space strike landed in, in the center of my base, my AB factory is still functional, along with the airfields at the sides. And again, now Alligator trying to get rid of those Vikings. However, I don't have enough, and the Seraphim is right here as well, in an attempt to stop Night Soul from coming back to the game. All right, here we go. Naval engagement right here. And as I've said, I don't really have enough here. And this is his base. So I'm actually at a very big disadvantage here. And look at those Poseidon damage to my Leviathan. Just insane damage. Just four Poseidons. And I'm going to have to run away without doing much, apparently. Yeah, four Poseidons. <laughs> Okay, and so I'm going to have to try and help out Night Soul with the Hawks that are newly produced. Um, it's actually a good thing that I actually produced those Hawks since I can help him out. Now, look at that Wasp trying to bully the Seraphim, the Viking as well. What an Imba uh, Wasp. And you're not gonna fly, dude. You're not gonna fly out of here. And so, I'm going to have to try and spam alligators as best as I can since I don't really have enough here. Night Soul trying to support me with a wasp and a dragonfly. Okay. Army from the CN, quite huge, but I now have more than him since the closer he gets to my base, the harder it is for him to replenish his army due to the distance that those uh, Vikings need to travel. So again, I'm going to have to try and uh, pick up some um, Vikings or damage them to soften them up while they're outside the range of those Poseidons. And now as the Poseidons draw closer, I'm going to have to retreat as I don't want my Leviathan to be destroyed. Purple player trying to somewhat come back into the game, but... Uh, alligator. Great job, alligator. Scout. Okay, no space system. Four shipyards, dude. Sheesh. So he's basically going to outproduce me at this point. Okay, so fast forward a bit. Okay, trying to position here in a ve very concave ish uh, position. So he's going to go for like a spear like attack, but nah. An arrow pointed or kind of piercing, whatever formation. But it's not going to fly against this many alligators in a very good concave. We're at the diagonal line. There you go. And again, I'm going to have to try and uh, fish out damage as many as I can. And while those Vikings are facing um, the back or, you know, um, you know, they're not really in front of my Vikings or facing my Vikings. It's time for me to attack them as they need, ha you know, they need to turn around in order to fire back. That gives me an advantage over this engagement. There you go. There's only three uh, Poseidons here. So he do have two options here. Either air raid or naval attack or common attack or whatever. Kablooey. And so I'm going to have to try and run away. Man, those three Poseidons, man. Alright, now I managed to win that engagement thanks to a better formation and he's out he was actually not facing my alligators when i tried to attack him and so reinforcement from him three four vikings at a time as he got like four <laughs> shipyards dude so i'm gonna have to try and get rid of those poseidons to give my leviathan more freedom along with my hawks to attack those vikings to clean them up However, that's not really going to fly since those Poseidons are so insanely tough that I only managed to destroy two of them. And so again, I'm going to have to try 
and get rid of as many units as I can. Even the Leviathan with low HP trying to help out. Um, just outside the range of those Poseidon's anti-air. Okay, now here we go. I'm going a level 5 HQ to uh, get more command points as some of my command points are consumed by the Hawks. Oh no. Okay, so he's gonna get that super container. Okay, a scout right here. I'm going to have to see what he have. Okay, he's going for that Solaris. Okay. Oh goodness. Oh man, this is very tough. Let's see how Nautzel is doing. Level 4 HQ. Trying to go for that Leviathan. And yeah, Dragon Folaya. Okay, again, I'm going to have to try and use the Hawks here to damage those Vikings. Or weaken them up, if not destroy. As there's only two Poseidons here. Yeah, two raids, it kills a Poseidon. No, a Hawk. So, so two Poseidons um, can two-shot kill a hawk in two raids okay so yeah just keep that in mind i mean poseidon's i don't know maybe needs more buff <laughs> okay now he's with that glorious solaris along with me with like alligators here and a bruised up leviathan and i'm going to have to try and add up one more shipyard to you know to stay uh, at the same pace or keep up with his uh, production line of vikings yeah Okay, again, I'm going to have to try and get into a better formation once again. As I know this is already disadvantageous for me. I just have to do it. My, give it my all. And increase as much as possible. Increase my possibility of winning an engagement. Here you go. Kablooey. Okay. We got rid of so many Vikings. However, those two Poseidons are still there. And is mainly being a pass. And so, I'm going to have to use my Hawks now, as of course, no more Vikings here, only the Poseidons, and I'm going to have to try and get rid of that Solaris. Okay, Night Soul is actually moving at the side, however, was scouted by that random assault guy right there. Okay, got that try and get rid of that Poseidon. Okay, and so... Again, those Hawks are now coming in and joining the fray as there is only one Poseidon here. So I'm going to have to try and uh, bruise up that Solaris that is not protected by the anti-ear uh, of that Poseidon. There's only one at the moment. So again, I managed to get that Super Contena and uh, again, non-stop insanely spamming that alligator button. He got that one Contena. All right, nothing really crazy here. Goodness, man. One Poseidon takes 25% off my Hawks HP. Seraphim here as well. Okay. My partner here. Being alive was actually very, 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 very good. A Leviathan is here along with a ton of Dragonfly. Let's see what's going to happen here. Again, I'm just stuck in a tug of war in the, you know, in the ocean. A Viking versus Alligator in Poseidon. Solaris Seraphim against the Alligator Leviathan. And here goes Night Soul showing his true colors after hiding <laughs> his base just outside the range of those vikings earlier and so i told the uh, night soul to attack those shipyards preventing the cn player from producing more shipyards or no Ooh, nasty man i don't even know if four anti-ear will even cut it at this point that is insane, Night Soul Man. So no more 
naval production for you, my friend. That's all the naval unit that you will have. Meanwhile, Night Soul will go ahead and try and get rid of this uh, base, which obviously lacks anti-air, and so on. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to try my best in the hopes of getting rid of this army and finishing the game and help out Night Soul if ever he needs help. Kablooey! And there you go! I'm gonna be completely honest here, I was not expecting for me to win this battle against such strong accounts. And here we go. Night Soul making quick work. And here we go with the Clash, man. That's all you have left, and there's not really that much you can do. At this point in time, the Giga Chad Leviathan lives to see another day. Come on. Hit! Kablooey! Alright now. So yeah. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye-bye.